Okay, so I'm going to show you how to graph the toe. Now for the wedge toe from the top down, it's knitting from the top down, so you finish with the toe, you will need to graph the toe. And also for the wedge heel, you will need to graft the heel. So this is the same whether you're grafting the heel or the toe, the process is exactly the same. So I will leave the written instructions below this video and also it's in the pattern. Um, because the yarn's attached to your knitting, it actually starts, it's attached to the back needle. Um, I want you to put, um, have the stitches on two needles like that as you finish and then just hold them in your left hand. Break the yarn, leaving quite a long tail. I mean, I, mine is probably twice as long as it needs to be, but um, I'd rather have it too long. And then just get a sewing needle and thread the yarn onto that. Now, there are four steps to the grafting process. Um, some people start with the last step on each needle. I don't tend to, as long as the yarn is attached. So if the yarn is attached to the back needle, the last stitch on the back needle here, or the first stitch on the back needle rather, then I tend to just start with step one. If the yarn's attached to the front needle, then I tend to start with the second step on needle two first, just to bring the yarn to the back needle. If the yarn's not attached at all, I have to break off the yarn and I've got a new piece to graph with, then I do step two on the front needle and step two on the back needle. For this purpose, as long as you leave a long enough tail to graft, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but I just want to mention that because you might see instructions um, which contradict what I just told you. <laughs> so that's why I just want to mention it. Anyway, let me show you how I do it. So we're going to start. Now you need to know the difference between knitwise and purlwise. Um, knitwise, you put a needle in as if you're going to knit. Purlwise, you put a needle in as if you're going to purl. So we're going to go into the first stitch on the front needle, knitwise. And you're going to take that stitch off the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. And then you're going into the next stitch on the front needle, purlwise, but this time leave it on the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. So that stitch stayed on the knitting needle. And then we're going to go to the back needle. So we're going to do the first stitch on the back needle, purlwise, and take it off and pull the yarn all the way through. And then we're going to go into the next stitch on the back needle, knitwise, leave it on the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. So that's the four steps. Um, so we've now done the four, the four steps and we're going to start again. So now we're going to go to the front needle, the first stitch on the front needle knitwise, take it off the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. Go into the first stitch on the back needle purlwise, leave it on the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. Then the first stitch on the back needle purlwise, take it off the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. First stitch on the back needle knitwise, leave it on the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. Now as you're doing this, just make sure your yarn uh, working yarn doesn't get tangled around your needles because that can happen quite easily. Okay, so now we're going to start from the beginning again. So into the first stitch on the front needle knitwise, Pull the yarn all the way through, take it off the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. Next step, next stitch on the back needle, purlwise, and leave it on the knitting needle and pull the yarn all the way through. Then the back needle. First stitch on the back needle, purlwise, take it off and pull the yarn all the way through. Next stitch on the back needle, knitwise, pull the yarn all the way through, leaving that stitch on the knitting needle. Oh, now my yarn just got caught over that needle, my working yarn. So I d just keep an eye on things like that because it can happen, especially if you have a long tail like me. So back to the beginning. First stitch, knitwise, first stitch on the front needle and take it off. Purlwise, next stitch on the front needle, purlwise and leave it on. First stitch on the back needle, purlwise and take it off. Knitwise, First stitch on the back needle, next stitch on the back needle and leave it on. Okay, back beginning. First stitch on the front needle, knitwise, take it off. Next stitch on the front needle, purlwise and leave it on. First stitch on the back needle, purlwise and take it off. And next stitch on the back needle, knitwise and leave it on. Now, as you get better at this, 
when I first learned this, I had a little sort of mantra that I would say to myself, and I'll do that next. So I would go knit off, purl on. So that means it stays on the knitting needle. And then back needle, purl off, knit on. So that means I'm leaving it on the back needle. Okay, so back to the front needle, knit off, purl on, back needle, purl off, knit on. That little mantra is a lot easier to remember than the whole, you know, list of instructions. Okay, so I've done the two on the front, back needle, pull off, knit on. Front needle, knit off, pull on, pull off, knit on. Knit off, purl on, purl off, knit on. Okay, so um, it's the first stitch on the front needle and then the next stitch on the front needle, first stitch on the back needle and then the next stitch on the back needle. So you're going first on the front needle, knit off, Next stitch on the front needle, purl, leave on. Then the two on the back needle, the first on the back needle, purl off and then knit on. So it's knit, purl, purl, knit. Off, on, off, on. Okay, so the first stitch on each needle is always off, second is always on. Try and find a way that you can remember it, but don't worry if you have to keep watching this tutorial or reading the instructions every time you do it. I did it for loads of socks when I first started knitting socks. Probably for the first year at least, I was knitting socks regularly. I was having to read the instructions every time. So don't feel bad for that. So when you have two stitches left on each needle, you're just going to do each step at once. So we're going to do into the first stitch on the front needle, knit twice and take it off. And then into the first stitch on the next stitch on the back needle, purl twice, and then you can take that off as well. Okay. So now we've got the two left on the back needle. So the first stitch, purl twice, take it off. And then the next stitch, knit wise and take it off. Okay. Now you do always end up with like a little ear at the end here. Can you see that? Um, I've seen various ways that you can get rid of it. I haven't actually found anything that works for me, but if I do, I will share. Um, I'm not that bothered by that little tag at the end. What I do is I put my hand inside the sock. I find, put my finger in where the little, where that hole is where that little ear is and then I push my needle through to the inside. Usually at this point I turn it inside out. I'm going to leave the right side out so that you can see it. I just give it, pull the yarn through the inside, give it a bit of a tug if I need to and then that ear is completely gone. And then I just turn the sock inside out and I weave it in across the edge here. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please just ask below the video.